It's not unusual for a police officer or a firefighter, for that matter, to rescue somebody, but it isn't every day they find someone who doesn't want to be helped. And Jeanette Levy takes us inside a rescue on the river in a story you'll see only here on Local 12. Just take slow breaths, okay? You're, you're a little tired. This man is on a stretcher and his face is blacked out for his privacy, but he ended up in the back of an ambulance last Tuesday after being rescued by Cincinnati police officers. Just stay calm. All right? Stay calm for me, okay? We got you, buddy. Officer Tammy Hustle's body camera was recording as she comforted the disoriented man on the way to the hospital. Sergeant Nate Asbury and Officer Chris Clarkson helped pull him from the Ohio River near Paul Brown Stadium. That was our first real world river rescue of a combative subject. Um, I think all of us came out with some bruises and some scrapes. The officers say that people are typically combative because they're actually trying to reach out for the rescuer so they can float. But this case was much different. This man had stripped off all of his clothes and was trying to get away, which posed a tremendous challenge. This guy, even when we tried to get him in control and tried to get the vest on him, he still fought us the entire time in the boat. He just uh, did not want to comply with anything. And it was a close call. Uh, at the end there, I would say seconds away from drowning. He was uh, starting to look like he was starting to lose consciousness. Fortunately, they were able to restrain the man to get him to safety. Some of the officers didn't even have time to get into their wetsuits. They dove right into the river. It was nice to, to actually get to use our training to get to help somebody out, whether he knew that we were actually helping him or not. And Jeanette Levy, Local 12 News. Medics took the man to the hospital for a psychiatric evaluation. The officers are part of the police department's Marine Rescue Unit, which was formed just a year ago.